Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming part two of my June makeup haul. Um, what I realized basically one day when I was bored, sitting at my computer, looking at my analytics, is that people really don't have the time to watch a super duper long video. So I thought it would be fun to kind of break up my haul so you guys could watch these. If you have a bunch of time, you can watch them all together. If you don't have that much time, maybe you can just watch them whenever you have time. Either way, I have tons of playlists on my channel, so if you want to watch like endless hauls, I have a haul playlist and you guys can check that out too. So I'm going to stop labbering and get into some more makeup I bought this month. Okay, let's get into this guy. So this I just got. This is one of my most recent purchases. It is the Flamingo Palette by Violet Voss. Oh my gosh, I still have the box and I need to... Put it over there. Okay, so here is what the palette looks like. It's actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyeballs today. I was so excited for this. They did like a weird pre-launch for this or like a pre-sale so you could buy it and it was only available for like 24 hours. So of course I picked it up because it is so, so hyped. And I knew I liked the Violet Voss formula. So I was like, cool, I don't feel too bad buying this. And so it arrived and I put it on my eyes today. And I love the mattes, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they're very pigmented. I had a really hard time with the shimmers. I was trying to use the shade Seashell all over my lid. It would not foil to save my life. I tried to use my finger. I barely got any pigmentation out of it, so I'm a little bit concerned about this palette so far. I think if you're on the fence about buying this, because I know people are really excited, because this is a really fun color story for Violet Voss, so if you're a big fan, you probably already bought it on the pre-order because you're an impatient person like me. But if you are more careful with your money, or you're on a budget, or you're trying just not to buy every palette under the sun like me, you might want to wait on some reviews on this palette because I'm a little bit sketched out by this. I, I am not 100% like excited about the shimmer formula, which is kind of disappointing. But of course, take that with a grain of salt. I've only worn this palette on my eyes one time. Today was the first time. So we'll see how it goes. I will keep you guys posted. I'm really hoping that was just like a you know a fluke thing and it'll be back to normal in no time next palette that I'm kind of pissed about this is gonna be the negative haul video so I had a swatch party go up of this palette on my channel if you watch a swatch party video you will see that this shade is in perfectly good shape and all of a sudden it just shattered into like a jillion pieces which is very disappointing because I told you guys that one of the reasons I bought this palette was for the shade Brazilian bikini and the shade Summer Fling, and yeah, so far, not super jazzed by the pigmentation of this palette either. I think this palette and the Flamingo palette and the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette kind of have that same vibe. There's a few teals, there's some fun peachy colors, um, some bright pops of color as well. So these were getting me really excited for summer, but now I just, both of these palettes have been quite disappointing, and also they are expensive, like, you know, like in the 40 to $50 range, so I'm hoping by some like miraculous version like I've been doing something wrong and that they'll start improving on my face but so far I've been pretty disappointed with both of those palettes. Okay so this palette I have not worn on my eyes yet. This is a ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette. They were doing this as a free gift with purchase. Was it last week when they launched their foundations? I didn't even want to buy the ColourPop foundations and I literally bought them because of this like little palette. Which, like, did I really need another all shimmer palette from ColourPop? Is this all shimmer? Let me double check. Yeah, these are all shimmer shades. Let me actually swatch them. I'm, like, messing with the box over here. Um, interesting. So this isn't really a yellow. It's more like a gold. I think everyone was like, oh, my gosh, did they do a yellow? It's a pretty nice silver. So those are the five shades. Ooh, this is pretty. It's like a peachy color. These are the swatches of the ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette. I think this is a cute palette. Everyone loves their little six pan palettes here. And it was a free purchase when you bought stuff on their website. I know they're going to make this available for purchase in July. So keep your eyes peeled on that. Here are my little boxes for the ColourPop foundation that I'm going to toss. These are what the foundations actually look like. I got two shades because I couldn't tell. I got the Dark 145, which is supposed to be NC42, which is my MAC shade. 
And then I got blush shades darker just in case because I do tan quite a bit in the summer so I got dark 155. I think dark 155 is a little too dark. I'm wearing this shade today so you guys will have to tell me what you think of the color match. So far I love the packaging. I'm not 100% sure I like this foundation. I feel like I have better foundations in my collection, especially ones that last a little bit longer than this guy. I must confess though, every time I've worn this foundation so far, I have been really sick, so I've been touching my face a lot, and I feel like that might be why these haven't stayed on my face. The other thing I don't think a lot of people realize is this, this is not one ounce of foundation. This is 0 0.85, whereas a regular foundation is about a um, one ounce foundation. So I believe, uh, is this one ounce? This is the new CoverGirl. Yeah, this is one fluid ounce, which is standard. So a lot of people are like, oh my god, a $12 foundation is such a good deal. Well, uh, it's not really the best deal because you can get a nice drugstore foundation with one ounce of product for about the same price. This actually, I really like. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made foundation. This is one of their new foundations and I have the shade Caramel. My husband picked this out. I was a little worried that this was going to be dark on me but I've been tanning so much this summer um, that it actually works with my skin tone and I really like it. It's really good coverage. I like to have a more matte foundation because I love highlighter so I always put on like way too much highlighter. Um, but yeah, these are the current foundations that I picked up and have been trying out. I have samples of a bunch of other new foundations that have been coming out, but for some reason I always forget to use, like, to play with my samples. So that's a little bit of a personal problem, but, you know, we're working on it. Okay, another drugstore find that I'm so jazzed about. I wanted these so bad, but I didn't want to pay for shipping or buy the entire collection. These are the Wet n Wild Baked Blushes from the... Uh, what was this called? It was like the Wild Birds collection or something. Um, but this is so innovative and I can't believe this is a drugstore brand. I'm scared I'm going to break a nail so I'm going to stop. But oh, the flat. Oh, this one's not open. Or is it? No, these are open. Uh, Flight of Fantasy or something? These are to save the hummingbirds. Like proceeds go to save hummingbirds. But these shades are so freaking beautiful. I wish they had come out with more shades of these. I hope they do. I really like wearing... Um, these two on my skin and actually even the bright pink one looks just fine. I wish they had done more neutral shades for darker skin because I feel like the only one that really works for a super dark would be this one. These ones look more like a highlight but I love to use these as a blush topper and I can't believe these are only like $4.99 or $3.99 plus sometimes you can find them on sale so if you get a chance to pick these up I would highly recommend. Another product I'm loving from Wet n Wild, and this I came upon on accident because I bought those blushes from Ulta, and they were doing buy one get one half off Wet n Wild, and so I picked this color. I have a few of these formula, the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadows, and I don't like them as much as this one. This one is a beautiful color. It's from their um, Gothic something collection, Gothiographic collection. And it's called Goth Tears, and it's a beautiful shade. I'm actually wearing it a little bit on the inner corner lid portion of my eyes. Just because I was trying so hard to jazz up this eyeshadow look because that Violet Voss palette was such a fail, to be honest. The other thing I have been loving is these Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I know I showed you guys the Equality Collection in that other video. These are full-size nudes, and he actually came out with some new shades, so I got the shade allegedly and thick as thieves i've been wearing both of these shades non-stop on my instagram if you guys follow me on there and so many of you have picked up these colors because i've been raving about them being suitable for tan skin and i love it and this one was kind of a boo-boo on my part this is the shade nathan it is a little bit too light for me um but that's okay i you know love jeffrey's nudes and so i will keep collecting them but these two on medium to tan skin tone is gorgeous and I love his formula so I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you're interested. The other new thing I picked up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. This is a waterproof setting powder and I was just so curious like is this actually going to make me waterproof so I did pick it up. This packaging is slaying like it actually looks wet like maybe I just bought it for the packaging. I don't know. It's beautiful. So far I haven't like had the 
you know, need to have waterproof makeup. I do realize that you can actually depop this, which is cool. I wonder if they'll make it like refillable in the future. Who knows? I, yeah, I just love this compact and the powder's okay. Right now I'm like so in love with the hourglass powder. I can't bring myself to use anything else. It's been tough. Like that powder is hard to beat. I didn't even buy the ColourPop setting powders because I was like, I don't need them. I have my hourglass powder and it will be with great joy if I could just like use up a powder completely. So that is my goal for right now. I have been dying to get my hands on this brush. This is by ColourPop and it's like a, I don't even know what this brush is called, but I wanted it because I wanted to see if it was a dupe for this MAC brush, which I use for bronzer. This is the 140S and they just looked like they would be so similar. The MAC one is definitely fluffier and obviously like much more, you know, expensive. Uh, but yeah, they all, they definitely look like they could be dupes. I mean, I haven't used the ColourPop one yet, so maybe it'll get fluffy, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Very cool stuff over here. Okay, guys, I'm almost done. So I did get the best sellers from Gimme Glow. These are their best selling liquid lipsticks. This is so cute. You can get these little sets for 18 bucks on their website. And I decided to get the best sellers because I never tried their formula. I'm actually loving the shade Dirty Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. I get so excited when I find perfect nudes for my skin tone and Dirty Pumpkin is it. It's like this beautiful warm nude. It's not pink, it's not brown. It's like the perfect peachy brown. Oh my God, I love it. So I'm excited for this formula. It is very comfortable for me, but I also like a lot of liquid lipsticks. I know. Some people think liquid lipsticks are dying. I personally hope they never stop making them because I love being able to wear a liquid lipstick and not having to touch up constantly. I really, like, that's the one thing about, like, bullet lipsticks that bothers me. Like, I cannot go about my day at work touching up my lipstick. I don't have time. So when I can just put a liquid lipstick on and not worry about it for almost half a day, I'm totally happy with that. Okay, so the next item I want to show you guys is the Pat McGrath Highlighting Palette. Now, there is some kind of foolery going on with this palette because they made it available exclusively for Sephora VIB Rouge. Then yesterday I got an email from Sephora Customer Service saying the palette's actually $50, not the original $68 they were charging. So they are issuing a credit back onto my Sephora account. So not only are they not refunding me, and everyone else that got this on pre-order or whatever the fuck they were doing, now I have an $18 credit sitting in my Sephora account. Not that it probably wouldn't be useful, but I just think it's fucking weird because what if you use like your last $68 on this palette and now you're finding out it's only worth $50 and guess what? You don't get your almost $20 back. Nope, Sephora's gonna keep that for you for a future purchase. Like, that's fucking shady. It, uh... Almost makes me want to not shop at Sephora. Like, that's, like, that's, how do they decide that? Like, do you think if I call and complain enough, they'll just refund me the money? Because I feel like everyone that bought it is entitled to a $20 refund or an $18 refund. Like, they can't just keep your money like that. It's unreal, like, what is happening in this world. It's crazy. Like, how? <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, let's talk about makeup that makes me happy. So I did do a little review on these guys. These are the Sydney Grace Cream Eyeshadows. They are so wonderful. She's been showing these a lot on her Instagram lately. I'm so excited. She's coming out with more shades. I really just want to buy all of them, but I'm trying to show some kind of self-restraint because these have a six-month expiration, so I don't want to end up with like a bunch of colors and not like use them all the time so yeah I love these if you are a lazy girl this is gonna be heaven for you because you just need one color you can swipe it on with your finger or you can use a brush and they set they don't budge and they are fully opaque and gorgeous not sticky not messy they don't slide off I love these eyeshadows and she's got a ton of colors I just want to order like all the neutrals it's sickening how badly I want more shades of those Okay, and then the last thing I want to show you guys in this haul video is my little KKW palette. This did go on sale around uh, Memorial Day weekend, I think. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm buying it because 
I do love Mario and I'm curious as you can see I haven't dipped my fingers into this yet because I want to wait until I'm ready I want to wait until I have a full week to review this palette to play with it to just get sexy with it because it is simple but sexy in its own way like I have been playing with color so much that I'm missing my neutrals. Like today when I have this like bullshit color situation going on in my eyes, I'm like, I need to go back to the neutrals. I just do because I just can't. But yeah, super excited for that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed part two of my June haul. I was remembering when I was filming this that it's not just June, this is like a combination of the end of May plus all of June. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed these quick little haul videos. I kind of want to try and do shorter videos, so let me know if you guys like short videos, if they're easier to watch. I personally love long YouTube videos because I watch them when I'm in the shower, I listen to them when I'm cleaning the house, or I'm watching them when I'm cleaning the house. I will even watch YouTube when I drive. So yeah, I really like long videos, but not everyone does, so let me know what you guys prefer. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I do have a little giveaway going on on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, you should, and you should enter the giveaway so you can win because I'm trying to get to 2K on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 2K on YouTube. You guys, whew, if you are not paying for followers, it is a long road. It is a long climb to the top, but that's okay. I am so grateful for all of you that watch my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.